What's up, everybody? All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, prefix multipliers. And basically, odds are you've worked with prefix multipliers before. You know, everybody's dealt with them at some point. But what a prefix multiplier is, is some power of 10 multiplied by a base unit. Now, that base unit could be grams, meters, liters, whatever, as long as it's a metric unit. Each prefix multiplier has a unique prefix, symbol, and power of 10 associated with it. We'll get more into that in a little bit. Lastly, prefix multipliers make life extremely easy, and we'll get into that in a little bit also. Here we have a table of common prefix multipliers, and I've put the prefix on the left, the symbol for the prefix in the middle, and the power of 10 associated with that prefix on the right. Notice you have, you know, maybe some of the more common ones like kilo, centa, milla, micro, nano. You're probably familiar with these. Some of them you're probably a little less familiar with, but, uh, but that's okay. All right. So before I get into problems using these, I want to show you a little something that pretty much demonstrates why working with prefix multipliers is so easy. So let me just show you what I mean. Suppose we have 13.7 miles, and we want to convert that to inch inches. <clears throat> well, the only way to do this would be a multi-step conversion factor problem in which you use these two relationships. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet, and one foot is equal to 12 inches. Um, if you need to uh, maybe brush up on your conversion factors, uh, I actually have a video for that. Um, so, yeah, just dig around for that. Okay. So we start out with 13... 0.7 miles. Let me get another pen. Thirteen point seven miles. Our, in our conversion factor, we're going to convert from miles to feet. And we said that one mile is equal to five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. And then we're going to convert from feet inches and we said that 12 inches are in one foot making sure our units cancel looks like miles cancel and feet also cancel okay now I don't know about you but if you look at the math the you know just the math of what's going on here you got 13.7 times 5280 times 12 um, I don't know about you but I cannot do that in my head if you can do that in your head um, you know, bravo, you know, you're, <laughs> you're gifted. For the rest of us, however, uh, this is, you know, a problem where we are pretty much forced to bust out the calculator. And now, I'm not going to, you know, solve it. I'm not really interested in that. I was just pretty much demonstrating how difficult this math is. Suppose we had a similar operation, but in the metric system. For example, suppose we had 13.7 kilometers, and we wanted to convert that to centimeters, right? 13.7 kilometers to centimeters. Well, using prefix multipliers, this problem becomes a lot easier. So we have 13.7 kilometers, and if I set up my conversion factor, my first conversion factor, we're going to put the base unit on top, meters, and put kilometers at the bottom. And we know that one kilometer, if we refer back to this table here, you see the prefix kilo has a lowercase k, and its multiplier is 10 to the third power. OK, so we know that one kilometer is equal to 10 to the third, or you know, more commonly, 1,000 meters. But of course, we're not done we need to get it in centimeters. So if we set up a second conversion factor, putting meters on the bottom and centimeters on the top, well, we know that one centimeter, if we refer to this chart, centa, it says that centa is right here. So that's 10 to the negative 2. That's the power of 10 that we multiply by now, or that's associated with that prefix. So now we have one centimeter is equal to 10 to the negative 2. 
meters. And notice that this math is a lot easier. I mean, all you're doing essentially is moving the decimal point. You have a power of 3 up here, 10 to the third, and then you're dividing that by 10 to the negative second. So if you think about it, Ten to the third divided by ten to the negative second. Whoops, negative second. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's the same as multiplying ten to the third by ten to the second, right? Because you know what you want to do is in the division problem you want to subtract the exponents, and subtracting negative two is the same as adding positive two. And so your result is 10 to the fifth. So 10 to the fifth is what we're multiplying this 13.7 by. I mean, and all you're doing when you're multiplying by a power of 10 is just moving the decimal point. Up here, we're not just simply moving the decimal point. It, it, we have to multiply three individual numbers. But here, it's much easier. All you have to do is move the decimal point. Okay, since 10 to the five is positive, that means we're going to move this decimal point here five places to the right. And so that becomes 13.7000, oh, excuse me, didn't mean to put that decimal point in there, 13, 130,000, excuse me. And if we apply that with the correct number, correct number of significant figures, that's going to be 1.37 times 10 to the sixth. And the unit is centimeters, and that's our answer. So hopefully that sheds some light on, uh, you know, sort of why, you know, prefix multipliers make the job a whole lot easier than just using the uh, the so-called standard English system. So. All right. Hope that made sense. Good luck.